Ever wish life came with a manual, especially for those tough choices? To study or to sleep? To follow the crowd or stand alone? Well, we don't have a manual, but we have philosophy. Welcome back to Blow Your Minds, where we make you question everything. Today, we're venturing into the realm of ethics, asking, what's right and what's wrong? Picture this. You're in a trolley racing down a track about to hit five people tied up ahead. But there's a lever you can pull to switch the track, where only one person is tied. What do you do? Save five and kill one? Or do nothing and let five die? This is the trolley problem, a classic dilemma that plunges you headfirst into the world of moral decision-making. There are two major approaches to such ethical problems. First up is, utilitarianism. It's like the math of ethics, you just try to maximize happiness and minimize suffering. In the trolley problem, a utilitarian would say, pull the lever. Better to save five lives at the cost of one. But is life really about playing the numbers? Enter, deontology. It's about rules, duties, rights. A deontologist would say, don't pull the lever. It's not right to intentionally harm someone, even for a greater good. But if that leads to more suffering, is it really the right choice? Here's another twist. What if the person on the second track was a loved one? Would that change your decision? This introduces the ethics of care, which prioritizes personal relationships. It's like adding feelings to the equation of right and wrong. And then there's virtue ethics. It's less about rules or outcomes, and more about character. What kind of person do you want to be? Brave, honest, kind? A virtue ethicist would ask, what would a courageous or a compassionate person do in this situation? Navigating these tough choices isn't easy, and philosophy doesn't always give clear answers. But it gives us something arguably more valuable, a map to navigate the complex landscape of ethics. When you're faced with a tough choice, ask yourself, what would maximize happiness? What does my duty dictate? Who am I in relation to others involved? What virtues do I want to embody? These questions can light your path in the dark maze of decision-making. Remember, being a good person isn't about always making the right choice. It's about striving to make better choices, learning from mistakes, growing. It's about asking tough questions, challenging ourselves, and taking responsibility for our actions. So next time you're stuck, don't wish for a manual. Dive into the complexity, wrestle with the choices, because that's how you grow, that's how you become the author of your own life story. Thanks for joining us in this deep dive into ethics. Don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking explorations. Keep asking, keep growing, and remember, it's not about making the right choice, but about making the choice right.